Dragon is in countdown. LD, go for launch. For launch director. Launch director pulled Stage go D, for launch. Flight. So with so with that, all systems are currently go for just over T minus thirty seconds to lift off. T minus thirty seconds. And at T zero, the rocket will be released from the hold down clamps at the pad. And as I mentioned earlier, that strong back right next to the to the rocket will retract the rest of the way, clearing the way for lift off. Stage you want to press for flight. T minus 15 seconds. Falcon 9 is configured for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off. And lift off of the 22nd SpaceX cargo resupply mission, bringing new solar arrays to the International Space Station. Stage one proportion is nominal. Seconds into flight, awesome shot looking Power back telemetry at nominal. Uh, the Cape, where Falcon 9 has launched. We're coming up on the next major milestone. That's the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure. That's when the Falcon stresses on the vehicle will be the highest. Execute. for maximum aerodynamic pressure. We throttle down those Merlin 1D engines now that we're through that point. We'll continue to, we'll throttle back up and continue on to the next of our sequence of events. We have several happening in rapid succession. That'll be main engine cutoff followed by a stage separation. Then we'll have a first stage flip maneuver, second engine start number one, and then a boost back burn on the first stage. Now main engine cutoff or MECO, that's where all nine of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage will shut down. That's followed shortly after by stage separation when both the first and back second is stages chilling. will separate. From there, the first stage will flip to prepare itself for entry. A few seconds later, the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite to boost the Dragon into a low Earth orbit. That's called SES-1. And then finally, on the first stage, we'll have boost back burn start to slow down the first stage in preparation for re-entry. So again, those five events, Miko, stage separation, first stage flip maneuver, second engine start, and then the boost back burn all coming up just in under 10 seconds from now. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Impact ignition. Stage one boost back startup. So successful Merlin vacuum engine startup. First stage has begun its boost back burn. That burn expected to last about uh, 30 or so seconds. Here's a shot of the second stage Merlin vacuum nozzle. You can see it's starting to heat up as we begin this burn. The second stage will continue to burn here for several minutes until about the T plus eight minute mark. Stage one, boost back, shut down. If you're just joining us, welcome. If you're watching a live webcast for the 22nd commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station for NASA. This is SpaceX's 17th launch of the year, and we are flying a cargo configuration of our new Dragon spacecraft. On the right-hand side of your screen is the second stage, which is carrying the Dragon spacecraft into orbit. On the left-hand side of your screen, you can see Falcon 9's first stage with the grid fins extending. It just completed its boost back burn and is making its way back to our drone ship. 
Now, the rocket has to do more than just go up. It has to go sideways really fast. That liftoff gravity is pulling straight down on the rocket, but as we ascend, we tilt the, the engines, that's called gimbling, and that begins to turn the rocket horizontally. We're still going up, but we're also heading horizontally away from the launch pad. That maneuver is called a gravity turn. The rocket typically needs to go about 7.5 kilometers per second, or about 17,500 miles an hour, to avoid being pulled back down to Earth and to get into orbit. So that's what the second stage is doing right now. Now, the first stage, in order to make its way back to our drone ship, named, of course, I Still Love You, it has two more burns to do. First is an entry burn. It'll ignite three of its Merlin-1 engines. That'll help to slow it down as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. And then the next activity will happen much closer to the drone ship. That is a, the landing burn. will ignite just the single center Merlin engine to bring the vehicle speed rapidly down to zero. You can see the grid fins that are extended on the left-hand side of your screen. We use those for atmospheric control. They help steer the Falcon 9 to make sure we make our way back to that drone ship as we get into the thicker parts of the Earth's atmosphere. And you'll occasionally see periodic uh, bursts of a white gas uh, like that. That's our attitude control system giving us little corrections to our attitude. The so next major event coming up here for the first stage is entry burn. Three of the Merlin 1D engines will ignite. Second stage burn continuing to look nominal. Second stage has a little ways to go. It won't be done with this burn until about the T plus eight minute mark. Stage one FTS is saved. Trajectory nominal. Stage one entry burn startup. So with that, three Merlin 1D engines on the first stage igniting to reduce the vehicle's velocity. You can see that on the bottom left corner of your scene screen. This burn expected stage to last one about entry burn seconds. shut down. So from here, the grid fins will continue to take the first stage towards our drone ship stationed out in the Atlantic Ocean. At this point, T plus six and a half minutes into flight, second stage is making its way to the initial orbit to drop off the Cargo Dragon spacecraft. And uh, if you're just joining us, welcome. On your screen is a live view of Falcon 9's first stage on the left, the second stage on the right. We had a, an on-time liftoff at 1.29 p.m. Eastern time Nominal ascent so far. Now, talking a little bit more about Stage the one transonic. Talking a little bit more about the first stage. So the next major event coming up is that landing burn. Landing burn is what will bring the vehicle speed rapidly down to zero. Amazing shots stage of the first stage burn during reentry. Once we get closer to the drone ship, we will deploy our four symmetric landing legs around the base of the first stage for hopefully a nice soft touchdown on that drone ship. You can see a shot of that on the right-hand side of your screen. Stage one landing leg deploy. Picture perfect landing of that Falcon 9 for the first one stage. Landing. First landing for this first stage, 86 successful recovery overall for SpaceX. Fantastic. Now coming up shortly, second stage is not done. It will be coming up on a second engine cutoff. About 30, uh, excuse me, under 30 seconds from now. It's been burning that whole time since stage separation to bring the 7,000 pounds of cargo into the initial orbit around our planet. And you can stage see we're, we're getting close to orbital velocity. Shut down of the second stage engine from here. We'll be looking at telemetry. Make sure we are in the intended orbit. 
abdominal orbit insertion. Fantastic. So with that, the second stage has just one major task left. It is commanding separation of the Dragon spacecraft just a few minutes from now. Until separation, the second stage will be making some small adjustments during this coast prior to Dragon separation. And we're hoping, we're hoping to have video, there's some video, into the unpressurized cargo section of Dragon. This video from the top of the second stage. We got a good look there at the new rollout solar arrays that Cargo Dragon is bringing to the International Space Station. So separation of the Dragon spacecraft expected at about T plus 12 minutes. We have a little bit of a coast here for ground operators in mission control behind me to ensure that the vehicle is in the right configuration, that there's no uh, conditions that we may want to watch out for after separation. But Dragon and the Stage 2 right now in orbit. And coming up after that separation uh, event, which hopefully we'll get a view like this of Dragon gently floating away, the Dragon spacecraft will begin to perform some of its own checkouts. Dragon is equipped with 12 service section Draco thrusters that are used primarily for attitude control and proximity next to the space station. It's also got four Draco thrusters on the top of the vehicle underneath its nose cone that we use for our uh, thrust maneuvers to help us rendezvous with the International Space Station. So again, successful ascent, successful recovery of our first stage just a few minutes ago. You're looking at a live shot into the Cargo Dragon uh, unpressurized section from the second stage that is in orbit around our planet. Our next major activity coming up shortly, that is Dragon separation from Falcon 9's second stage. Something a little bit different about uh, this Dragon spacecraft. If uh, you followed our first version of Dragon, you'd know that uh, it had deployable solar arrays. This version of Dragon has conformal solar arrays on the body of the spacecraft. So those are mounted along the exterior panel of the trunk that we're looking into right now. Those provide power for the spacecraft as it makes its way to the space station. Dragon separation confirmed. Lovely planet Earth on the left-hand side. Dragon floating away. You can see the rollout solar arrays from this view atop Falcon 9's second stage, watching Dragon gently float away. So again, activities coming up for Dragon. It will begin its service section Draco checkouts, followed shortly after that by a no, the nose cone Expected loss of signal uh, opening. Go. And uh, that's going to complete my coverage here from Hawthorne. But why don't we check in with...